Hey everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome to a special Blue Shift video. Although, this special video will also cover all three of the original Half-Life games. This is a discussion video for the Black Mesa Research Facility, and in this video we'll be talking about everything about Black Mesa. The history of the facility, the construction, the Black Mesa incident, the involvement of the Marines and the Black Ops, and eventually, the aftermath with the nuclear bomb. So, let's start at the beginning. After World War II ended in 1945, the world was left with two main superpowers, the United States and Russia, the USSR back then. The US and the USSR got into several disagreements, which was the Cold War, that lasted from 1947 until 1989. Eventually, these disagreements turned into competition. The first major competition was the space race that began in 1952 to see who could get into space first. Sometime in the 1950s, in order to compete with the USSR, the U.S. built Black Mesa in the New Mexico desert with the intent of studying rocketry. But the space race ended in 1972, so with the end of the space race, the U.S. didn't have any more use for Black Mesa. So the U.S. converted Black Mesa into a research facility to study absolutely everything about science. And one of these sciences was teleportation technology. So, beginning in 1972, they began construction on the new Black Mesa, and they built over the rocket base and converted it into a research lab. The first thing that they built was the old teleporter system, as we saw in Blue Shift, complete with all the old HEV and health machines. And slowly, over the next 20 years, as the fields of sciences grew, Black Mesa was expanded to almost the size of a small city, with perhaps the number of scientists in the thousands. Families of the scientists and security personnel would also live at Black Mesa, inside the dormitories. Eventually, and it's not clear when, the scientists successfully got the old teleporter to work. Through more study, they also eventually found another dimension. They named this new dimension Zen. And when they first found Zen, it was populated by many aliens, vortigaunts, hound eyes, and tentacles. They began to study these Zen creatures and how the vortigaunts could teleport so easily around Zen. And eventually, it all became very clear the Vortigaunts would manipulate the resonance from the yellow crystals on Zen. If the scientists could also figure how to do that, they could travel anywhere. Now, the scientists didn't know this, but these Zen creatures had come to Zen just a few years before. They were running away from something, the Vortigaunts wanted to stay on their old homeworld and fight this something, but the Nihilanth would not allow that. He enslaved his own people with restraint collars, and he teleported them away from their homeworld, and they retreated to Zen. The scientists began to harvest these yellow crystals, but the Nihilanth grew very angry. He ordered his Vortigaunts to kill any thieves. Now, back in Black Mesa, the scientists began to worry. What if some angry Zen creatures came to Black Mesa? They would need some protection. So, Black Mesa requested that the U.S. government create a new military branch, specifically made to help Black Mesa. The U.S. agreed, and they made the Hazardous Environment Combat Unit, located in Santego Military Base, Arizona. Eventually, the Black Mesa administrator got possession of a perfect crystal. It's unclear how he got possession of this, but he did somehow. With this perfect crystal, the administrator hatched a plan. 
What would happen if he could resonate a connection between this crystal and the other crystals on Zen? With so much connection, he could then use Zen as a dimensional slingshot to travel across the stars. But first, he would need to test its resonance. He sent the crystal to Sector C test labs and ordered the scientists to study it with the anti-mass spectrometer boosted to 105% to get maximum clarity and resolution. This made the scientists very concerned. They argued that the crystal was way too unstable for 105% resolution. It would just resonate it way too much. But he just would not listen. Finally, the day of the testing arrived. And as we all know, Gordon Freeman was responsible for pushing this perfect crystal inside the Nexus. But the laser resolutions were way too much, and it caused a resonance cascade. It violently ripped space holes between Black Mesa and Zen, and these holes allowed Zen creatures like head crabs, hound eyes, and bull squids to accidentally fall through and into Black Mesa. These space holes sent the Nihilanth into fight mode, and he thought Black Mesa was waging war on Zen, so he sent his Vortigaunts to manually teleport to Black Mesa and terminate everybody they found there. And, as I explained in my Opposing Force Race X video, Race X was also studying Zen, and when these holes were created, they took advantage to slaughter everybody and take over Earth for themselves. But, as we all know, Adrian Shepard stopped them. And now, the military. The HECU Marines arrived and began shooting everybody. It's never mentioned why the Marines are not rescuing the scientists, but it could be one of two reasons. One, it was written in the military's code by the U.S. government that if something bad happens at Black Mesa, to immediately kill everybody in order to cover the mess up easily. Or, two, the G-Man ordered the Marines to do it, since the G-Man has orders from his employers to clean up Black Mesa as quickly as possible. The G-Man was also present at the military base several days before. Now, eventually, Black Mesa made a plan on how to close these holes, send out anti-resonance signals to Zen to close them. Only problem was they had to send the signals from space. But luckily Black Mesa was an old rocket test site, so they strapped the beacon to a rocket and had Gordon launch it. It closed the holes, but there was one left open. The Nihilanth was keeping one of them open on purpose, in order to once and for all kill Black Mesa for all their crimes. And as we know, Gordon goes to Zen and kills him, which in the end closes up the last hole. Now, before that happens, the Black Ops arrive. And they have orders to kill everybody, including the Marines. Now, this confuses a lot of people. Why are the Black Ops killing their own military? Well, it's actually a very simple answer. The Black Ops were sent by the U.S. government themselves, not by Black Mesa. See, when the U.S. government got wind that the HECU were losing the battle against the aliens and were now pulling out of Black Mesa, they panicked. They simply panicked. They were like, oh my gosh, this has exploded in our faces. We cannot let this leak out and allow the world to find out what we've been sponsoring. We must end this right now. They immediately shut down their teleportation program and ordered their black ops to clean up the mess, including the HECU Marines, who were technically part of the Black Mesa program. They wanted to wipe out all memories of Black Mesa once and for all. That does sound like the U.S., to be honest. <laughs> now, the nuclear bomb. It's obvious that the U.S. government gave permission for the Black Ops to plant the bomb at Black Mesa to destroy it. And the G-Man was probably very thrilled to see the Black Ops with this nuclear bomb. 
a very easy way to clean up Black Mesa. When he saw Adrian Shepard disable it, he re-enabled it. And then, after a while, the bomb exploded and killed everybody inside the base that didn't escape. There were only a few survivors, the most notable ones being Gordon, Adrian, and Barney, and several others. I will not reveal all of them because that would be a spoiler. So what happened after Black Mesa exploded? What is the aftermath? Well, Black Mesa was reduced to a large pile of rubble, with no life inside the facility. The teleportation technology research has ended. The Nihilanth is also dead, and the Vortigaunts are now free from his influence. I won't reveal too much here, because then we be getting into the Half-Life 2 storyline. But basically, the Black Mesa incident did not only doom Black Mesa, it may have also doomed Earth's entire species. The Black Mesa incident, with all the holes that were violently ripped between Black Mesa and Zen, those ripples were felt as far as the four corners of the known universe. Rest assured, my friends, the word evil has yet to be defined, and Zen and Race X haven't even come close to defining it. See you in Half-Life 2.